So you want to grow your business in a pandemic. How do you do that? Well, you need to be strategic in your sales and pitch to various potential customers. I'm Khalila Reynolds and it's time for another episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's business advisory service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Joining me now is Sales Pro, Executive Chairman of TGL Group, Dwayne Lufong. Hi, Dwayne. Welcome to Money Moves and KRM Studio. Well, hi, it's good to be here. Yeah, you yeah. have the honor of being the first person to be interviewed in the studio. I'm so excited about that. I'm happy to have you. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm excited about it too. Yeah. And we're talking about something pretty exciting today, and that's sales. Because what is your business without sales, right? Yeah, sales is everything. It's like oxygen in your business. Okay, so this has been a, a very difficult time, the pandemic. Uh, people have lost customers, and businesses are out there trying to find new customers. How do you do it? Um, it's tricky. Um, first of all, it was hard to sell even before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And what you found is that you know, when, you're, when you're talking about sales, you know, typically you know, companies have different ways, different strategies of selling. Um, you know, in, in the company that I am a part of and I'm the chairman of Think Grow Lead, um, we, in, in, in the past, one of the things that we do is when we identify and assess what are the problems that sales, sales organizations are, are, are experiencing, we tend to look at first people and their skills. Mm -hmm. And some companies, even without having a lot of skilled salespeople, they'll thrive because of the environment. We call it almost like they'll do well artificially. They'll just do well because of the conditions. Um, so what we have found is that even when, when the conditions get extremely harsh and the people do not have the skill to go there and to sell in a particular way, it gets more difficult. So what most companies are experiencing now is that it has become extremely difficult because the people lack the skill to connect and engage and convince and persuade people in the, in the right way. Mm -hmm. All right, so what is step one in trying to acquire that skill? How do you go about doing that? Well, first you have to, you have to it's called, it's, it's awareness. Um, if you don't know you have a problem, you won't even try to fix it. So one of the things that we say to companies is that um, although you're experiencing the issue, try and find out what is the issue exactly. It's like going to a doctor, and I always say that um, a, a sales development company, um, they'll do almost the same work as a doctor. I mean, you have a pain somewhere, and it's a lingering pain. You're not right. quite sure what's causing it. You really want to assess. You really want to diagnose. You really want to know what is the problem specifically because there's so many errors that so what you, are you looking for as a leader in your team um you're looking for especially now you're looking for people with the skill of prospecting have to be aggressive we have a tendency in jamaica to have a lot more order takers you know if you go into organizations they wait on the phone to ring mm -hmm. they're not natural hunters mm -hmm. that is a muscle especially now that you have to develop you need the skill of hunting and that takes a particular process has a method around it, and people need to learn that skill. Then closing, you need to be an, a, a, an excellent closer. Mm -hmm. Gone are the days when you could, you know, I keep telling people, telling is not selling. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of people that just tell. We just talk, 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 talk. And um, now you need a skill to understand when to start to read people, the sensory acuity, knowing when they're looking left, they're looking right, what closing technique to use specifically mm -hmm. to have them. Because your, your, your number one goal is the exchange. You want them to exchange the money, the cash, whatever they have right. for your goods, product, or service. So if you're not closing, you're wasting time. Companies don't pay you to talk. You're, you're, you're going to be a conversationalist. Every company pay you to do one thing, to close sales. Exactly. Yeah. You mentioned two really great <laughs> points, so hunting yes. and closing. Yes. What goes into the hunt? How do you find, I don't want to call them prey, Yes. yes <laughs> yeah, how do you yeah. find new customers? Um, well, there's a process. You, know, you identify leads based upon the, your, 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 your business that you have, and you always have what we call vertical or target markets. You know, um, the, the thing about hunting is that I think that it is innate. It has to be in your DNA to discipline yourself, to know that it can't be, it has to become almost a way of life. Almost like, you know, I know that there's a particular time every single day that I'm going to do this particular activity. So it's a real, it's an activity that you have to program, you have to plan for. The problem is most people, they hunt sometimes or when they feel like. Mm -hmm. So the pipeline, remember, you, you really need a, a strong pipeline because sales should be predictable. 
If I know I want to buy a brand new BMW, a brand new Mercedes, and I'm in sales, I'm telling you, I personally will think, tell you that it's the number one profession on the planet. Because it's predictable and you can manage, you can manage, you, you have the variable around managing the money that you make. So if I know I want to buy something and I know what my commission structure is like, I can plan it. I know my number. I know that I need to put, you know, 40 people in the pipeline. And if I talk to 40, I know out of the 40, I will qualify 30. And if I qualify 30, 10 is going to be closable. I know out of those 10 that are closable, I'm going to close five. So I know my closing ratio, mm. which means that I know that I need to close 10. I need to hunt one. It needs to be in my pipeline. Mm -hmm. Understand your number. Sales is a technology. It's an art as much as it is a science. But how do you do that now in pandemic times when a lot of, I think, hunting takes place in, in networking places where yes. you can meet other like-minded people or people who might be interested, but now you don't have that social experience, so you don't have that hunting ground per mm -hmm. se. So how do you do it now? Flexible, adaptable, and adapt to the change. Uh -huh. So what's going to happen? So your market has changed, your condition has changed. You know, we always say that winners never explain, winners never complain. Winners go get it done. So one of the things that you have to do, you have to understand what the environment is like right now. And if it's, you know, so, I, so, so there are a couple of sales methodologies. And one of the newer sales methodologies is called social selling or virtual social social selling. selling or virtual selling or digital selling, which means that there's a new space that your customers are. And you have to become adaptable, flexible, and knowledgeable as how to transition yourself in that space. And I say to people that the dinosaurs will become dinosaurs and they'll die. Like, you have to become more adaptable. Okay, where are my new customers? Okay, how do I get there? So that's oh. online, like of social course, media. Of course, online and LinkedIn. And there are so many spaces now that people are hanging out that it's not the physical hardcore space, it's virtual. And then you have to create a new profile. You have to create a, a, new, a, new, a new kind of way how you go, how you engage them. What's the new script I'm going to use to engage people so they don't feel I'm trying to scam them? Like, mm -hmm. So you have to change that entire game. Even in terms of how you have meetings now, it's now this, the, the, the era of what we call Zoom and, and this technology where you have to go and you have to always look good. If you stay ready, you have to get ready. So you know you have your meetings, you know how to interact with people, how to engage them, turn your cameras on. So there's a lot now going on in hunting that is not the belly to belly as we see it in, in front of people, but you have to know how to go find people in different ways and how to get leads differently. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to closing now, what is the key to closing that customer? <sighs> Well, you know, closing is not a one-time activity. Gone are the days when you think, you know, I want to learn, learn 15 different closing techniques. I want the assertive close, the assumption close, the puppy dog close. I want all these closes. No. Closing is a process. Is a puppy dog close? There's a thing That's called puppy dog close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They that. give them the eyes? No, the puppy dog close. Is it so funny? <laughs> I don't know where these guys got it. So there's a particular way back in the 60s where they figured out if you... So how people used to, how do you used to get dogs to be sold is that... They'll tell you to take the dog home, mm -hmm. and if you like the dog, keep it. Oh, they so, do this with cars. Yeah, so, so <laughs> anytime you, you see somebody say, no, man, try it, man, take it home, or mm -hmm. let me deliver it to your office, and if you don't like it, you never, ever take it back. Mm -hmm. So that's a particular technique called puppy dog That's clothes. why I bought my last car. <laughs> <laughs> so it works. It did, it did work on yeah. the yes. So what we find is that the, the one-time closes um, don't really work. Now what you find is that you're always closing. And, and there's a, there was an acronym around it, ABC, always be closing. So at every process, every step of the way, you know, because sales goes in step, sequence, and process. So for every process, you're closing. Because I, I have to close you first on me. Mm -hmm. So I walk in, I look good, I smell good, I write. She's like, yo, I'd buy from this guy already. Mm -hmm. So actually close you from just how I look. But I don't know. I'm thinking I need a one close. And then by the time I start a particular conversation called consultative conversation where I ask good questions, they're deeper, they're more engaging, they challenge you a little bit. And you're like, you know, in you go home and you say, boy, you know, honey, I talked to a guy today and I'm telling you, of all the salespeople I've dealt with, he has challenged me the most. Like the questions were deep, they were insightful. He actually had me thinking. And he's like, yeah. So what, what, what happens is that I become memorable. Mm -hmm. Once I stand out in your mind, it's hard for anybody else to come and talk that me. That is so true. And then I connect, I engage, I lower your resistance, which is the first thing you have to learn to do. All of that is closing. Then I'm qualifying you well. I know I want to know the timeline when you're going to buy. I want to know if you're really committed in buying this thing because I don't want to waste my time. So you need to be qualified. I want to know what's the decision-making process. Is it you or you know, do I have to talk to your grandma or your grandma? Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to waste my time. So there's a process. The wife. But every, yes. <laughs> the, most times the wife. And car people learn that the wrong way. People 
that are selling houses and talk to the husband and get all excited and realize that it's not mm -hmm. really him and spending money. The wife have to say yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So what I'm saying is that selling is a process. And when you understand that process, um, you're always closing and closing becomes much easier. So you're not, you're not trying to pull a particular technique because you're closing every step of the way. Mm -hmm. You can close in on your smile. That's so <laughs> true. It's yeah, like the last person I, when I bought my car, the person I bought from mm -hmm. made me feel like all the other salespeople weren't even trying. Telling you, stand out. We call it in, in our sales technology that we use at Think Grow Lead. We call it, you have to have the SOB, stand out brand. Mm. You have to stand out because that's how people remember you. So is that something that's just natural or can it be developed? You know, there's a there's a age old there's a discussion now that is still out for the verdict. I mean, are good salespeople born or develop? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think a bit of both. I you do have some natural charisma, but you yes. can practice and learn. And if you want to become the best, you can. Yes, and you're right. It's a little bit of both. Um, you have people that are naturally good conversationalists. They engage you better. Their personality shines. So before they used to say extroverts are good salespeople. Um, well, that's no, that's no debunked. That's not the, actually, people that are more introverted makes good salespeople. Mm. And there's a middle ground that they call no ambivert, which means that you need to be a little bit of both. But mm. the reason why introverts make better salespeople is because you need to be a better listener. Extroverts tend to talk a lot and don't mm. listen. Talk, 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 talk. Mm. But the real way how I close you is you talk, I get the information, identify your issues, know what your problems are, and I take it. And that's how I close you. Mm -hmm. So I have to be really be more of a, mm -hmm. tell me some more about that. Ah. Mm -hmm. Explain to me. Mm -hmm. So I have to say it and just shut up and listen a lot. So the best listeners typically are the best salespeople. I see. Yeah. That's interesting. It's, so it's, I wouldn't have automatically thought that. It's the talkers. Mm -hmm. No, they are not the ones. That's just a natural charisma. That helps, you know. But what you find is that the people that are at the elite stage, mm -hmm. especially when you get into high ticket selling, can't chat too much. I really, people are, have real problems. What about if you have a team? Because I think the introverts might be a little bit more hesitant to be going out there and hunting, mm -hmm. but they might be better at closing. Yes. So what about if you have on your sales team, you have hunters and closers? Is that something that's recommended? Oh, yeah. You want it to be dynamic. In some sales organizations... Somebody bring them in, somebody else. Yes. In some sales organizations, what they have done in terms of their sales strategy is that they develop what we call a team that goes out and gets the lead. Because mm. some people are naturally better hunters. Some people, they can make no the vitamin. They're not afraid of no's. Like, oh, don't call me back. No, okay, sir, have a good day. Say hi to your wife. Kiss a kid for me. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. And they just, their, their recovery time is like this. Sometimes some people, you might be a natural talker and can go and close and do stuff. But every time you hear a no, I can't find you for like a day. And I'm like, what happened? <laughs> you just don't like to hear no's. Mm -hmm. And that's why most people... Um, do not like sales. Not because they don't like the money and the conversation is just the rejection part yeah. of it they don't like. I actually don't mind hearing no. I prefer hearing no than the long than the drawn long draw note. note yes. And they're holding you and they're not giving you an answer. Yes, just tell yes, me no quickly yes, and yes, be over yes, with yes. it. In sales we says buyers are liars and it's true. <laughs> you know, and sometimes they just lie. Yeah, yeah man I'm going to buy it for me man. Just hold on. And two years later you can't find them. So we have to understand that and just adjust to it and know that it's a part of the game. Mm -hmm. Sales is a part of the game. Well, thank you so much, Dwayne. You guys, you have a, a something coming up, right? A session coming up. Tell me about it. Um, the, the, so we have, we have a lot of things coming up. We have the TGL School of Sales and Sales Management that's launching. Um, we started this thing with um, UCC about in 2019, which is the first certified sales course in the Caribbean. So it's a school that gives an accredited um, 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 certification in sales, and it starts on October the 12th, which is the first cohort. So we have um, training sales, which is the fundamentals of professional sales, and sales management. Mm. And I, I and encourage people um, that, you know, you know I, I listen to a thing, and we always do it in training. It's a Kobe Bryant video that speaks about the Mamba mentality. Mm -hmm. And what that Mamba mentality is, it says that you always have to be better you are today um, today than you were tomorrow. Like mm -hmm. you always need to be better, constantly pushing yourself to be better. And it's no different in sales or anything in life. Like money follows mastery. And it's, when you're good at what you do, the money will come. And I say also to salespeople, I challenge them to continuously grow because the biggest room out there is the room for improvement. So how do people sign up for your upcoming class? Um, well, we, you, can, you can go to tglsalesschool.com. Um, you go on our Instagram, tglsalesschool. You can call um, the office at 9781364. 
Um, you can, we're, all, we're online. Um, our new website has just been launched, um, www.tglgroup.com. And go and find out how you register for this um, for this upcoming um, class. Nice, nice. Well, so much more to learn. Oh, it's a lot. Look what you just told us in what ten minutes. I'm so telling imagine you. the yes, class. Yes. Thank you again, Dwayne. It is much my pleasure. It. Yeah, man. Glad to be here. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay. Here's a recap of some of Dwayne's key points. Businesses need to be aware of possible sales problems. Simply put, if you don't know your business has a problem, how will you fix it? People who work in sales must possess the skill of hunting and be an excellent closer. Understanding your numbers is absolutely important. And your company's sales team must stand out if you want people to remember the company. Well, that's it for this episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's business advisory service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Visit their website at eximbankja.com and visit my website, kalilorunnels.com, for a summary of this episode. You can click the link in the description box below. I'm Kalila Runnels. Until next time. Ha, 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 ha.